Hi everyone, this is Omega and I am back here for another Witch's Moon unboxing for September 2021. I want to wish uh, all the Virgos and Librans happy birthday. And here's Freddie, as you can hear. Hey Freddie. Anyways, let's get started. I just got this box not even an hour ago. So I'm gonna do, we're sitting on my glasses, Freddie. Mm. I know my hair's a mess, but guess what? No more braces. <laughs> got them off a couple weeks ago. So I am very happy, very happy. Wait, let me take these off for a second. Hey, ready? Show your butt to the world. I show my teeth, you show your butt. Now you're licking me, I don't like that. Okay. How are you all doing for your September? Okay, so you guys all know Witch's Moon, and let's see. Hey, Freddie, want to say hello to everybody? You're facing the wrong direction. <laughs> this way. He got a haircut today. I used the clippers on him, and then I vacuumed him. <laughs> He likes it. And then after I vacuumed him, then I took some like cat wipes infused with catnip and wiped them down. So he's nice and clean. Yes, he is. Okay. Ooh, look at this card. Abundance Charm. Ready, stop it. Well, I noticed that the, um, the twine looks like it's thinner. I kind of like it. Let's notice that, but it's a little thinner. I like it. It's neater. Okay, what's the theme? Goddess of the night. All right. As the sun sets and the chariot of darkness travels across the sky, the spirits of the old and new, wise and written, dance among us as if stars sparkling within the blackness of night. Within this deep and powerful space, we begin to connect and convey our intentions and willingness to study and practice. It is within the depths of this exclusive, with this beautiful darkness that we find protection and urges of guidance from the goddess of the night. In this very exclusive and unique collection created over many, many moons, we delve into the secrets and sanctuary of nightfall. Yes, love it. Okay, so I got Abundance Charm. I, I don't know if this is a tarot ring or just a charm or what. Or, the witch has woven you an abundance charm of olive and bay from her enchanted garden. She has anointed your front door, sprinkled some in your wallet, popped a pinch in your pocket. Here comes the good fortune. Well, I'm ready. Here's the back of it. All right. Okay. This is a sigil. And the witch's moon, what they do, they put a dot on the top to signify the top. I wonder whose sigil this is. Ooh, Labradorite. Guess we're getting that in the box. Beautiful. Pull that up again. And Freddie's right here. I don't know if you guys can hear him purring. Ooh, look at this. The progeny of Nyx. Love it. The goddess. Wow. Look at all of these progeny. This is very interesting. I don't, I can't read the whole thing, but it lists all the progeny from Nyx, I guess, being the, what do they call it? Alzheimer's is kicking in. Prototype. Yeah. 
So aether, brightness, appetite, deceit, dolos, guile, eris, strife, jeris, old age, hecate, witchcraft, hesperides, evening, hypno, sleep. Very interesting. Although infrequently mentioned in surviving mythology, Homer calls Nyx the subduer of gods and men. Ha, huh, I love that. That even the Olympian king Zeus feared her. In ancient cosmogonies, Nyx is either among the first primordial beings of the daughter of Chaos, or Fane's Orphic, Demiurge. Her siblings include Gaia, Tartarus, and Erubus, Erubus, with whom she had several children. Still other accounts maintain that Nyx alone parented her many children, her consort unknown. Fragmentary Orphic hymns hold Nyx as the first principle from which all creation enter, emerges. In these poems, Nyx resides in a cave with the dormant Kronos time, who lingers in a state between dreams and prophecies. Here, Nyx divines oracles in rhythmic ecstatic chant, which actuates the universe. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Oh, got another one. Harvest Moon, September. Okay. So that was on the top. Here are the contents. And this says Persephone salts. Take this ugly thing off. Mmm, I smell lavender. So these are the bath salts. And this looks like the oil. Oh, is it in a blue bottle this time? Yes, it is. Nyx. It's like the goddess Nyx. Looks like candy. Pretty. I wonder if I could point this down so you guys could see him better. Because I know you guys are lovely. You guys love Freddy. There we go. And this looks like the ooh, Labradorite in this beautiful bag. It's like a palm stone. One side it looks like it's more matte on mine, and then the other is looks like it's polished, like a tumbled. Oh, look at that reflection! That's neat. Interesting. And then this looks like the candle. Freddie lately has been fighting. Me. Like, you know, licking me like he normally does. And then he'll just do like a love bite. I don't know what his deal is. Why right? he's doing that. Why are you doing that? He's never done that before. Usually he does it to men. For some reason. He'll just bite them. <laughs> like not like bite them like in a... This almost looks squished. Um, but just like, you know, play fighting. But lately he's been doing that to me and I don't like that. I don't like that, Freddy. You need to stop it. Okay, it looks almost oblong because I think it was squished a bit. It's purple. Great color. And night jasmine. Yes, anything jasmine I love. Oh my God, this smells so good. Any of you getting this box? Jasmine. Anything Jasmine. It's worth, I would just, just getting this Jasmine is like excitement enough for me. Okay. And it looks like the tea. Nocturna. 
That would be like a good like goddess or sorceress name for Halloween. Nocturna. Here's the tea bag. And we got Lady Elhorn. Almost looks like clothes. Let's see. We got the NYX blend. Oh, this is just a mess. I'm just gonna. Something's really good. The heck? Is there feathers in there? Okay. This is really weird. Look how big this thing is. What is in here? Is it like a dead bird or something? <laughs> It does have feathers on it. Isn't that neat? It's like sort of like a dream catcher, but not a dream catcher. I don't know. But it's got these these feathers on them. Wow. Really cool. I don't know where I put it though. I can't put it here because then People think there's something wrong with me. <laughs> My visitors probably already know there's something wrong with me, but um, can't make it obvious. So I don't know, maybe it'll go into my library where everything is off limits to everyone except my kids. Well, let's read about it, okay? Let's read about this. Okay, Handmade Talisman of the Goddess Nyx. We have truly connected with the beautiful power that surrounds the dark goddess of the night, Nyx. I wonder what Stevie Nyx feels about this. She ever knew that. I know it's spelled differently, but it seems kind of neat that your last name is like kind of the same sound as a goddess. It is said that the night was represented, represented and embodied by this Greek goddess born before all other elements and gods thereafter. The known that the authenticity the goddess Nyx provides choices to be freely taken with great blessings or great consequences depending on the heart of the practitioner. Much like Hecate, Nyx is the protector of witches and wise men and can provide insight into the mysteries. As the sun sets on the horizon, Nyx stands atop her chariot of darkness, love it, and is pulled across the sky by her team of dark, majestic horses. In the ancient world, it was common for practitioners, pardon me, where was I, practitioners of witchcraft to call upon Nyx before performing magic of any sort. These practices were often pursued during the night, dark nights as to not be criticized or condemned by those that were unfamiliar and wary. As darkness covers the sky, the stars and moon provide their shining br brilliance. It is during this time that we are truly able to call upon the wise guides to protect us as we search for wisdom and formulate, formulate our intentions. Um, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, it's pretty long, but really awesome, I mean, I like that. Um, the next artwork. Beautiful Nick's Book of Shadows artwork provides historical information regarding the origins of the great goddess. And the, oh, here's the sigil, Goddess of the Night sigil. That's what this is. Very special creation it has been inspired by during the darkness of night. Associated with Nyx, the sigil carries within the calling of comfort and wisdom of the mysteries. Nice. And Labradorite Palm Stone which is this. We are thrilled to have the opportunity to include such a beautiful Labradorite palm stone within the collection, a true stone of magic. 
wakens the carrier to the innate powers and opens the senses to new realizations. Also known as the Adventure Stone, Labradorite offers limitless opportunities to travel on voyages of self-discovery and inner revelations. Protective force calling upon outer guides to be drawn to its energies. This specific Labradorite has been included within the collection to assist you as you move between worlds and communicate with guides during the rituals. Awesome. And Labradorite Book of Shadows artwork, which Freddie just stepped on now and wrinkled it. Yeah, you. Nocturna Ritual Herbal Tea with Muslin Bag. That's what this is. And it has Rubios, Ginger, Cardamom, Chocolate Chips. Hmm. It's too bad I don't like chocolate. You know, it sounds weird, but it gives me migraines. Um, This Calm and Smoky Ritual Herbal Tea is meant to be your nightly companion. Okay. The NYX Ritual Herbal Blend. That's this here. Sensual blend of hibiscus, lavender, and rose petals have been included to use as an incense blend or to simply place within an offering bowl for the goddess of night. If used as an incense blend, allow the smoke from these herbs to consume your space and ritual area. This is a wonderful time to state intentions, speak, speak clearly with your guides, or ask for guidance and wisdom. Lady Elhorn or Elderberry. Elderberry. Okay, so it's a berry, not clove. I look too small for it. These are actually berries. Wonderful excerpt from the Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs by Spot. Scott Cunningham goes as follows. The elder was used in burial rites in ancient British long barrows. It is sacred to many mother goddess figures due to its white flowers. Witches and spirits were thought to live within the elder. This was why it bled red sap when cut. Before felling an elder, the following formula was recited. Lady Elhorn, give me thy wood and I will give thee of mine when I become a tree. This is recited kneeling before the tree prior to making the first cut and allows the witches or spirit within the tree time to vacate. Specifically, the elderberry is commonly placed within sleep sachets or mojo bags to bring peaceful rest and prophetic dreams. As you work through nightly divinatory practices, rely upon the elderberry to bring visions of the new ideas. I have elderberry wine. It's Manischewitz, but it's elderberry. Tastes good. Um, the anointing oil and enhancing any magical workings. And what's in it? Geranium, jasmine, almond, lavender, chamomile oils, and the herbs of lavender, chamomile, and blue lotus as well. Nice, and of course, always with the Lemurian Quartz, which I can hear. Persephone Celebratory Sacred Salt to blend in honor of the goddess Persephone. Okay. Um, we rely upon the ideals and symbolism associated with Persephone to find wisdom within our shadow work and introspective practices. As a queen of the underworld, Persephone could control the shadows and manipulate the darkness. As you release any anxiety or worry from your day, allow yourself to seep in the mysteries of darkness and shadow. And this has vanilla, lavender, and bergamot oils, as well as lavender, willow, and poppy. So that's what this is here, Persephone. Night Jasmine Ritual Sticks, Incense Sticks. These here, which smell amazing. And it's just like, you know, the same prophetic energies to surround you. Burn this incense during the nighttime while you perform your magical workings. Um, Harvest Moon September, Espot and Full Moon Book of Shadows artwork. And in celebrate Celebration of the Harvest Moon. This September, Espot and Full Moon Book of Shadows artwork has been created. 
personalized oracle reading. We have meditated and selected a card from the Secrets of the Witch Oracle card. So that's what this is. These are oracle cards by Lucy Cavendish to place inside your box. The card and the message that it holds was meant for you. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom that it holds and um, let it speak to the pressing realities in your world, providing you with the relevant guidance you may need at this time. Well, so that is it for September. Um, what do you guys think of it? Uh, I, just for the Jasmine and the Labradorite, Labrad say that 10 times, alone, I'm happy. I really like it. I mean, the, the incense, anything Jasmine, I love. So I think I've said that many times. You can smell it from out here. Um, this, of course, is very beautiful. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. You know, I don't know. I think it's really cool. I think if I were younger, like... I don't know how much younger, but let's say if I was just like maybe living with my parents or something and this were in my room or this would be really cool. I might, I'll probably give this to my daughter. She would really love this. But I think I'm just, I mean, I'm just getting old. It's just, uh, it's beautiful though. I can, oh, it's got these little beads on it too black beads and these feathers are like a greenish almost yeah they've got like this greenish I don't know if you could see it in this light tinge to them like it's really quite beautiful and this looks like macrame it's like a and this is where obviously where it hangs from so I mean it's pretty long so tell me what you guys think about it um I'm really happy with this month's box. Hope you're all doing well. And I will see you next month for October, the witch's moon. And um, hope everything is well and you guys stay safe. Bye.